This video is about some best practice to be performed occasionally on your drone. I will show you why, when and how to calibrate the IMU, compass, gimbal and remote controller. Let's start with the IMU, Inertia Movement Unit. The IMU affects the behavior of the aircraft in flight. It is therefore important for the safety of your unit. It utilizes several components of the aircraft, like the gyroscope, the barometer and the accelerometer, to keep the drone flying in a smooth, stable and balanced way. I perform a calibration of the IMU any time the drone has an unexpected flight behavior. If the aircraft cannot fly in a straight line, doesn't maintain the altitude, drift while hovering, or doesn't respond appropriately to the stick of the remote control, the first thing to do is to calibrate the IMU. Another occasion for calibration is when DJI Fly Up prompts to do so with an on-screen message. The calibration is also suggested after traveling more than 50 miles, after big elevation changes, for example during a trip on the mountains, or when the temperature is drastically different from usual. A few times while traveling I have experienced very wild behavior of the aircraft with previous models of DJI line, and indeed calibrating the IMU fixed the issue. Choose an area far from metal and free from interferences. Place the Mini 4 Pro on a horizontal, level and perfectly flat surface. Make sure to have at least 50% battery time, both in the drone and the remote controller. In the safety tab of setting, we scroll down until we find IMU Normal and hit Calibrate. We are presented with a screen that guides us to the steps needed for the calibration. We are asked to position the drone with folded wings in five different positions. The first one is laterally, with the camera facing to the left. We can then hit the start button at the bottom of the screen. To the right of the screen, a ring shows the progress of each step. The second position is sitting on the left side, with the power switch facing us and the camera to the left. Position 3 with the drone on his back and the camera facing to the right. Position 4 with the aircraft on its right side and the camera facing to the right. Position 5, with the drone standing on the back, showing us the right side. Finally, we place the drone in the first position, and the aircraft will restart. It is a bit like doing yoga. This short video shows the different positions. It should help to get them correctly. At the end, a message will confirm the outcome. If the calibration has failed, move the drone to a different location, far from metal objects and magnetic interference. Make sure that the surface is perfectly flat and try again. The compass keeps track of the drone position and home point. If it's not calibrated properly, the drone might fly erratically or crash. It also plays an important role in case of a return to home. We calibrate it only when prompted by the app. The procedure is extremely simple. We find the option for the calibration of the compass just above the one for the IMU, in the tab Safety of the settings. Like for the IMU, we choose an area free from metal, an object with an electrical charge. Also note that the calibration might fail in low light. 
The aircraft must be held at a height of about 1.5 meters from the ground, about 5 feet, which for most people is at shoulder height. After hitting the start button, simply follow the instruction on the screen. First, rotate the drone 360 degrees horizontally, then turn it to a vertical position and do the same. The maneuver can be accomplished by simply rotating the hand holding the aircraft. No need to perform complex circular dances or other dangerous acrobatics. A prompt on the screen will show the result. In the case of failure, try again farther away from interference. Unlike the IMU and the Compass, the gimbal calibration doesn't impact the, the flight behavior, but acts upon the alignment of the camera. Anytime it is switched on, the Mini 4 operates a sort of basic gimbal calibration. The reason why we want to proceed to a gimbal calibration is in most cases when the horizon is uneven, often after a small crash or a hard landing. In settings, we go to the control tab and scroll down until we find gimbal calibration. There is a choice between auto and manual. For auto calibration, the drone must be placed on a level surface, as for the IMU, but this time with open wings. The calibration starts immediately after hitting the auto button. The camera moves horizontally and then vertically for a few seconds, and the trick is done. A manual calibration is generally performed while flying. If we notice that the horizon is uneven, we hit the button below auto and we are presented with two values that we can modify. The first one is the rotation of the camera, the second the horizontal alignment. The remote controller contains a compass to detect its position. It works like the one of the aircraft. On some occasions we might be prompted to calibrate the controller itself by a message on the upper left part of the screen of the controller. The procedure for calibration is very simple and is explained on screen. It is very similar to the one for the compass. By simply rotating the controller horizontally and then vertically. With the RC2 controller with a built in screen, it is possible to summon the calibration of the controller. To do that, we scroll down twice on the screen to reach the menu window. We hit the gear icon at the top right and then we choose Compass Calibration. Click on this link to watch my video about footage quality with the Mini 4 Pro. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Thank you.